Hi, my name is Kazan, and welcome back. How do you feel like experimenting a little bit? <laughs> just hear me out. Earlier today, I was just minding my own nothing, and then this great idea just popped into my head. Why don't we create a Frankenstein monster by combining two completely opposite fictional characters? <laughs> Let's try it out. So, for today's experiment, I have chosen to mix Pennywise the Clown and da -da -da -ho, Winnie the Pooh. Now, before we get going, please do not forget to subscribe. We wouldn't have you missing out on future Frankenstein monsters, now would we? Now, enjoy this explosive intro while I go find the blender. So, are they gonna kiss or what? Oh my god, no! <laughs> Okay, here we go. For the first time, I'm gonna try and narrate my speed video here. As you can see, I started out with Winnie the Pooh's head shape, and I just quickly added some details that resemble more Pennywise. The main idea was to take Pennywise's extreme creepiness and use it on Winnie the Pooh's body. Simply, I just pretended to draw Winnie the Pooh and kept adding details from Pennywise. I don't know if you've seen the IT movie, the newest one, the one from 2017, because that's the Pennywise I'm using right now. And it's mostly because I just simply love Bill Skarsgård's interpretation of Pennywise. It is utterly insane. I see we are on with the line art now. When looking at Winnie the Pooh, did you actually know that it wasn't Disney that came up with his red shirt? This idea came almost 30 years before Disney's first animated feature with Winnie the Pooh. It was the American producer Steven Schlesinger who acquired Pooh's merchandising rights and he came up with that red shirt. And I find that funny because that's what I recognize in Disney's Winnie the Pooh now. Well would you look at that, I think our Frankenstein monster is finished. So, please let me know if you like the drawing, and also if you like this new type of video. I think I'm gonna do a few more, and don't forget to throw me your good ideas down in the comments below, if you know exactly what characters I should mix next time. So, I'll hopefully see you again. Until then, take care!